This is our forearm stand. And for forearm stand, we obviously need to feel some decent range in that positioning overhead, taking the shoulder into flexion. However, because I'm on my forearms, the position is far more challenging to then sort of compensate elsewhere in the body, like you tend to find you do in a handstand, where you can then maybe go into a little bit more of a banana back um, to hide any sort of limitations of ability. So give this one a go. We're gonna set up on the ground. First of all, just going onto a into a forearm plank. So I'm gonna take my forearms down, hands flat. And if I just bring my hands across to my elbows, that's gonna be the sort of correct anatomical position for us to begin in. And then all I'm gonna do from here is take the legs back and hold a forearm plank. From here, now what I wanna do is start to walk the feet up. And I'm trying to go as high as possible and then walk them back down again. And that's just setting up that base position. There may be sort of some limitation in your shoulders, which is then making your hands sort of spin in a little bit. And what you can then do is actually mix up the grip. So we can try interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms together, walking the hips up. Make sure that you don't collapse your head into your hands. You're gonna wrap the shoulders and push down. The next variation is maybe palms together feels better for you. So again, press the palms together onto the forearms, lift the hips, walk up, push down. So that's just that starting position to see, first of all, can I make that shape with my shoulders and my hands on the floor? And then can I get my hips high enough? If you're really struggling to set up one of those base positions and you want to have your hands down, you can use something as simple as a book or a yoga block and just place that between the hands and now from there, that's gonna stop my hands spinning in. I'm gonna be able to add a bit of resistance by squeezing that book between the hands as well. So then lift the hips from here. From there, I'm gonna raise one leg up and think about pulling this bottom foot off the ground. Maybe starting to tuck it in and just doing little taps. Don't have to be able to go into that full hold straight away. And just find which grip you prefer for the base of that forearm. So then to go in, I'm gonna set that position, lift the hips high, tuck the bottom leg in, push down, and find that forearm stand. Maybe just one, one leg tucked in, or maybe going all the way to the top. So that's our forearm stand. Have a play with any of the variations of the grips that we went through to find that positioning. And obviously as we're going up, we can actually try just tucking one leg in to make that a little bit easier essentially, and then bring it up to both legs being up and overhead. Just remember to really push and wrap through the shoulders, push down as hard as you can into the floor, grow nice and tall, and have fun playing with your forearm stand.